hello guys and welcome back to my channel so the point of today's video is i just want to come and share with you guys my latest latest protective style i am walking faux locks um this is one of my favorite this is this has to be the my most favorite protective style i've ever had um something i've always secretly wanted to have in my hair was dreadlocks but i would never cut get dreadlocks because I know um, I get bored very easily. I like to switch my hair up and when you get actually dread your hair, you know, usually you have to go through a tedious process of trying to have someone undread it, which I would never do. I would just shave them all off and start over. So when I see someone doing this hairstyle, it's something that let my braid or actor she know how to do them. Cause I've never seen anyone locally um, do this. I just took a picture I found on the internet and, and um, showed it to her. She said she could do it, so I went for it. I absolutely love this hairstyle, but I really, really do enjoy these four locks. Uh, I'm gonna try to rock them for at least a month. I'm, I wanna say a month and a half, but at least a month. Um, just because ever since I shaved my hair and did the, be the big chop, I really hate having, I hate not being able to touch my own hair. Does that make sense to anyone? Um, comment down below if anyone else feels that way. Since you did the big chop, you like your hair being free. Like, I love being able to wash it when I want to, things like that. That's another reason why I'm glad that in my protective style, you guys that follow me on here, Instagram, or just know me, you know that I, I wear the, um, I make wig units myself, and I can sew those down when I, if I want, I choose to, and take them off if I want to. Most times during the week, I don't sew them down, but on the weekends, I do. So I can wash my hair, like, at least once a week, and... I know you can wash your hair with these, but I usually just try to take um, some conditioner and clean my skin. I do clean the front of my hair because every now and then I take some edge control and lay down my edges, so I do um, wash that weekly. But I don't want to do too much walking, washing when I have like braids or anything in because I just always fear that it's going to be um, causing a lot of matting or something like that. So I don't choose to do that. But yeah, I just wanted to come and share this with you guys. Um, uh, the natural hair journey has really been exciting for me. Uh, I definitely want to talk about, um, I've never loved my hair more than I loved it now. I never thought that I would. You know, so many times, I know plenty of you guys have experienced this growing up, you were told that if your hair was a little bit more coarse, that you had bad hair. And what I do realize when going natural and just getting older and doing my own research, a lot of people just don't know how to properly take care of um, certain textures of hair. You know, like my mom, for example, she has naturally, um, oh, I need the inside of picture. I can't even, whose hair would her hair be like? I don't know, it's kind of like, you know, you touch it when, when she, it's, it's very soft. She has very, I don't even know all of the 4C, 3C and all of that. But she has a very, very, you know, she never really has to use a perm. She has that soft, curly hair. She gets in the water, you know, it wets, and she can, she, she don't have to put any product in it. She can literally walk out the house with her hair wet and she's fine. But you know, I took out my dad's texture of hair and my hair is a lot more coarse. So of course when a hairdresser sees her hair, it's like you don't have to do any work to make her hair lay down or to, to straighten it up because there's no work. But as soon as they would see someone with like more coarse hair, they would automatically say, oh, we have to give you a relaxer. I never forget one of the worst experiences that I had is now, my hair was always coarse, but it's very sensitive because just because your hair is coarse does not mean your hair can take everything. And a hairdresser, my mom told her, well, you know, if you're gonna perm her hair, you can't put a strong product if you use regular. Well, she took it upon herself because she felt like my hair was a little bit more coarse. She put super perm in my hair. Let me just tell you, my hair was coming out so bad, okay? Literally, like, <laughs> the wind blew in my hair. I looked and my hair blew t as well. My hair came out so bad. That was like, I think I was in like ninth or 10th grade when that happened. A horrible experience, but I, something that I never forget. And it was like, I knew because she had sneaked and put the super in my hair. And just because your hair is coarse, you have to put in a little bit more maintenance with um, your hair when you have more coarser hair. So it's just, um, it's gonna take more work. But if you take care of it properly, oh my God, it's just so, your hair feels so much healthier. Like I said, my hair right now, I'm loving it more than I've loved it ever, I think, in my life. You know, um, you know, I wash it and condition it all the time like I'm supposed to. Like when I when I have my hair underneath my, um, Wig units, what I usually do is I put my hair, in. I don't, I'm not a really good corn roller. I'm, I'm in a beginning stage of trying to learn how, but I really don't know corn rolling that well. So what I normally do is I'll put my hair in two strand twists. I take two strand twists um, and I'll just put all my hair in these little twists around and I'll just, you know, put them, um, I always put um, throughout my scalp during the week once or twice. Every other day I use like um, coconut oil in my hair. I use castor oil. I just make sure I keep my hair really moisturized. And basically, when you when I wash my hair, also I wash them in two 
and I leave them in the twist so that I won't have to do much detangling. But I really, really, really love, I was telling my mom, I was like, I never thought in a million years that I would like natural hair. Now, you will see me when the summertime comes and it finally gets warm here in Maryland, I'm gonna be doing a lot more natural hairstyle. And I haven't done a lot more, and that's why I like this too, because it gave me kind of the more natural look as opposed to when I tried the box braids. I definitely like this because it gives me more of the and another thing I love this hairstyle is because I've always been a Jamaican, as my sister calls me. I've always said, told her that I was like um, a Jamaican, that I just didn't know that. But yeah, that is just a little brief rundown of my um, natural hair journey. Like I said, during the summertime, I will, I think I did the big chop. It was either July or I have to go back and look because I do have it noted down somewhere. It was either July or August when I shaved my head and did the big chop. So my hair is definitely doing, it's growing back very well. Um, I guess when the year is here, I will, you know, of course, come and show you guys. But I, um, I definitely can't wait till I get some lint because I do wanna, I do wanna try a lot more of the um, natural hairstyles. It's just that when you're in that small afro stage or you're just a little bit beyond that, it's just not as, um, you know, easy to do. A, to try a lot of the, um, the natural hairstyles. Furthermore, I work out at least five days a week, um, so. Um, having my hair shrinking all of that it's easy to just keep my hair in protective style so sometime when my hair does get more lean on the weekends i will try um to do more natural hairstyles i'm gonna get into that because basically the reason i decided to go natural because i wanted to try to get my hair more healthier and most of the time i was always going with weaves or braids or something anyway so it was no point of me keep perming my hair and damaging it because when i first started to wear weaves i did do three four weeks and i damaged my so three fourths which means the top of your hair was always left out. I damaged it so horribly. So that was definitely one of the things that encouraged me to go ahead and do the big shot. Like I said, I do adore my natural hair, but it's just easier to keep it protected. And from what I'm understanding, and most people that I follow that has a um, excellent um, natural hair journey, they keep their hair protected. They keep it a weave on it to protect it, but they keep their hair in braids and things like that. And that's how you keep your hair from breaking off. Because if you always, especially if you're someone that's going to be trying to work out, you have to keep putting more heat on it or things like that, but keep always pulling and tugging on it to keep it looking decent. So as opposed to doing that, I'd rather really just keep it protected underneath braids, um, locks, such as this, or either just keep wearing my wigs like I do. And that makes my natural journey a breeze because I want my hair healthy and it is healthy so far. And I'm, I definitely, I'm not gonna be sacrificing trying to not leave my hair alone. Like I'm, I don't wanna be out here looking because there's a lot of people out here that give natural hair people a bad name. Yes, we see you, everyone sees you. Just like a lot of people are going natural and they think they mean they can just leave their hair balled up and not don't walk out in public you guys definitely need to stop that it's better it's, it's nothing wrong with wearing a wig doesn't mean that you're not proud of your natural hair it means you want to look decent while you're in public so keep your hair in braids or twists and just throw a wig on get some braids but don't walk out here looking a hot mess going natural is not a reason to go ahead and just let yourself go that is a psa for all you ladies do not walk out here looking like you just don't care you know don't do it going natural is just not a reason to just walk out looking like you just came out the bed and you have a lint you didn't some of you don't even bother picking the lint out your hair so yeah that's a whole nother story but yeah i just wanted to come and share my full life with you guys and hopefully you guys like them like i said comment down below and tell me if i'm you're if, if like me since you were natural you hate having anything in your hair for too long you like wearing to wash your hair all the time also tell me what some of your favorite protective styles are also thank you so much to all of my new subscribers i really appreciate you supporting my channel sometimes when i think like oh, i don't need to do a new video i'll look and see someone newly subscribed and i'll go ahead and put out a new video because i want you to know that i really appreciate you supporting my channel and yes i am going to try to put out as much videos as possible to let you know that i definitely appreciate you supporting me thank you bye-bye have a good day Mwah.